Good morning. Today I'm going to share with you some things that have made me happy. I haven't purchased very many things at all, but the things that I'm going to talk about have made me very happy. Some things that were just okay. I'm going to announce the winner of my secret giveaway from the last video I filmed, which I uploaded on December 11th. So I'm kind of rusty. So if you can, bear with me. And as always, I just have to do some chit chat. I just have to tell you what is going on and, uh, and what's new. The first thing I'm gonna talk about really did make a big difference. Jim hasn't slept in this bedroom since before his first hip replacement. He's just not comfortable. That'll change, I know. But Jim always wanted an electric blanket. So I found a great one a couple of years ago that was dual control and I didn't have to use it. I like a cold bedroom. So since I knew that Jim wasn't sleeping in here, I thought, I don't think I'm gonna even get the electric blanket from in my closet and put it on the bed especially because my sister told me that she didn't use an electric blanket and last winter she just used that unhide blanket that you know I love. This is my third winter with it. Well, I'm going to show it to you because you'll kind of understand what I'm talking about with the thing that made me happy. I mean, here is here is this, it's like a monstrosity. It's 60 by 80. It is so thick. It is so plush and I loved it and it did keep me warm. But one of my things that I enjoy doing when I come to the bedroom, you know, I read and I pray and then I watch a little TV. I kept losing my remote control and it was frustrating. It would get in all these little dips and divots and I got tired of looking for it. So when I got up one morning, I thought I am going to attach this to my bed somehow. And I'm gonna put in some footage here. But what I did, I put ribbon here and I glued it and I made sure I didn't glue the battery case shut. And I attached it to my spindle on my headboard. And then when I wasn't using it, I just put it underneath the pillow. I would not do this if I had children or pets because you could get tangled up in it. But oh my gosh, if I'm looking for my remote, all I have to do is reach back, find that ribbon, and I can find my remote. And it's long enough. So that has really, really made me happy. And something else, right before Christmas, we had a huge cold spell. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to get that electric blanket out. Well, I slept with a sheet and my quilt and my unhide blanket, and it kept me warm. But then it got to minus nine degrees one night which I think in Celsius, that's like minus 24. And I, we had a wind chill of minus 30, and I'm not sure what that is in Celsius, but I mean, it is cold. And I thought, oh my gosh, I should have gotten that electric blanket out. Well, the power went off. And I, I mean, it was off for like two and a half hours. And of course the house got cold. There's a fireplace in the living room and Jim was in there and he was feeling toasty. At, but I stayed in bed and I was comfortable. So I, I was really happy that I had it. And one of you all shared with me, you were looking for them and you found them on the Unhide website. Well, I went there looking, cause I have purchased this for gifts for several people. In 2021, I was able to buy several of them on Nordstrom when they had their, their sale. Well, I looked on Nordstrom today and they did have quite a few colors available. So I'm hoping this summer when they have their, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't buy much from it, but I do look for certain things that they will have these for sale. They are machine washable, dryable. Before I even used it, I washed it and I dried it in the dryer and I thought no telling how much fuzz is gonna be in it. It did not lose one bit. And I just wash it every year before I put it up. And I really only wanted to talk about the Nordstrom because that's the exact blanket I have. And that's the only thing that I know anything about. Other than I do have the throw, the unhide throw. That's what made me wanna buy this. I really liked it and it's a lot lighter, not as thick and plush, but anyway. My second thing is I found an earring. I have these earrings on and I, I'll get up close so you can see them. I've had them for like 20 plus years. And for me, they are like my most perfect earring because I can sleep in them. 
They are so comfortable, and you've seen me filming these for years. If I have on different earrings, you know, I've been out of bed for a while because these are just my go-to. Well, we had a leak in the bathroom, and it was such a big leak that it went behind the shift robe. Well, I had to pull the shift robe out, and I was cleaning and mop getting all that up, and I saw something shining. Well, it was this earring, and I was so excited. I picked it up, and I was thrilled. That evening, I went looking for my match because I thought I knew exactly where I put it, and I couldn't find it. But I thought, well, at least I've got this one. And then the next day, I couldn't remember where I put it. Well, a couple of weeks later, I was doing laundry, and when I, I have a front-loading washing machine, and when I opened the door, I could see the earring was down in that rubber area. So I got it out, washed it off, and uh, I found this one. I went to the second place I thought it could have been. So I've had these, I've had them for about a month. My son got them for me and they just, it just made them special. Now this next one might be odd and I don't, I'm sure there's not many people who need it, but I had a real need for it. I don't like at nighttime, I, I was looking for a nightlight is what I was looking for, but I don't really like them. I, mean, I was thinking about the motion ones and all that kind of stuff. Well, and this thing popped up, and I thought, it's rechargeable, which I like. I like anything that you don't have to use batteries in. And I thought, well, I'll give it a try. You, what you, When I got it, I'll tell you what I do when I got it. I turned it up like this, and I thought, how in the world does this work? It had like a little thing here. You could hook it on, but I could not figure out how to how to get it going. So I turned it over like this, and then the light came on. If you put two fingers on it, it'll turn off. You know, and if you want to, if you can change it to different colors by just going like this. I don't ever have a need for any different colors, but I like it. A lot of times I'll just take it with me to the bathroom and it was especially nice the night the power went off. I do have a lantern in here, like a battery operated lantern and we're fine if the power goes off. But I really have enjoyed this. I use it absolutely every night for, for some reason. And I just thought I'd share. And I think it was like $20. I've only charged it one time. It's probably going to go out right now as we're talking. But it's a good one. My friend Christina from Northern Illinois sent me an email and said she's going to send me a package and, and told me when it was going to be here. Well, I emailed her back and said, I just want you to know it did not arrive because I didn't want her to think that I was ungrateful because I was. And she contacted the company and I had another date that I was gonna receive a box. Well, I opened it up and it was beautifully packaged. Here's the packaging, just beautiful. It arrived the day after Christmas. And oh, these cookies, Cheryl's cookies. I could recommend them to anyone, and it's such a wonderful gift to send to somebody. Well, Jim and I opened them right away, and they were absolutely delicious. I tried to limit it to right after dinner, because I really do watch my wheat, and I think I ate a little bit too much of it because I had a little bit of hip pain, but I backed off. I put some in the freezer, but lo and behold, a couple of days later, another box came. So I contacted Christina and I said, I'll be glad to pay for these. I got another box. And she said, no need, they didn't charge her. So we have, I've given goodies to people when they've been over and I've got some in the freezer. But I was really impressed with it. And it's just a small business. I have no affiliation with them. I'll just type their name across here. But uh, it'd be a good place to look if there's some time you just wanna send somebody something special. I felt real special when I received them. I told you I would let you know when I knew something about Vegamore. I started using it in one area right here on October 8th, 2022. I have this much left right to there and it does work. In fact, I'm gonna have to quit using it there and I'll rotate it with my Revitalash but it could because, see, I'm used to this. This is what I'm used to in my forehead. I've had them forever and I'm used to messing with it. Well, now, on this side, it has really grown, and it messes up my bangs. So, I'm, I'm going to quit using it there, and but it does work. My favorite is the Revitalash. It's expensive. 
uh, a friend of mine that has a YouTube channel had a 26% off discount code that I was going to share with you, but I checked and it's no longer available. But a lot of times when you go to the website, they have 20% off and which, you know, and sometimes 25% off, but that's my favorite. My second favorite is the Vegamore. It does work. It makes your hair grow and it makes it thicker. And then my third choice is Grande Hair. It worked. I didn't like it as much. None of them made my hair look greasy or dirty in any way. And I've had questions about the Nutriox. I only use that right after I derma roll my scalp and that's right after I shampoo my hair. And I shampoo my hair every five days is when I shampoo my hair and that's the only time I use that. And I'm not gonna quit doing that. But I wanted to give you an update on that. Well, the other part of the good, I'm still talking about my good things, and I think it is good. I am no longer platinum nor diamond with Ulta. I am just a regular customer. I do accrue points if I order something, but I, I'm still not wearing face makeup or blush or eyeshadow, just mascara, uh, something on my brows to keep them clear, you know, to keep them uh, in place and lip gloss, lipstick. And what I'm missing about it is, if I don't have a foundation on my face, I won't wear eyeshadow, I won't wear blush. I think for me, I equate a full face of makeup and I'm still liking my skin the way it looks. I'm not even putting powder. I did put powder right there and right there today, but I never thought I would feel so good about my skin at 69 years old when I used to wouldn't go anywhere without makeup. So it's a good thing that I am no longer any reward category in Ulta. I've never been anything but an insider at Sephora. So whenever they have their sales, I'm a 10 percenter. I am still enjoying my Built Bars. I especially like the Built Puffs. They did an excellent one this year that I didn't think I'd like and I almost didn't order it. And it's pumpkin pie and it had the white chocolate and I thought it was great. And now one of my favorites is the, the coconut marshmallow. And these are the puffs. I still like the bars, but I have not purchased those in a long time. I have some in my freezer and I will eat them. I'll take one out for, you know, maybe about 30 minutes and I'll eat them. But the thing that I'm, the reason I'm mentioning this is they've added postage on it. I started to order a box and I, I can't remember what the shipping and handling was. And I started to complete the order and I thought, I'm gonna throw in another box to see if the postage increases and it didn't. So that's okay, but in the past, there hasn't been shipping and handling on it. So I am really curious if any of you see them in the stores. They, I don't, I've, I've never been in a Costco. It's probably been 15 years since I've been in a Sam's or even like a health food store. I, I just haven't. So if any of you see them somewhere, let me know, and, and and I'd love to know how much they are there. So, okay. I have been dry drinking out of this cup. I don't know how long. It's It's been quite a few years. Because of Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats, I bought this. I can't remember. It's not a super name brand, but it's a good one, and I really enjoyed it. Well, I saw all those Stanley cups, or, and I like my metal straw. I have a brush that is long that I can keep them clean, and I have quite a few of them, but I love it. But it's not real handy when you're traveling because you can spill it, and you have to take this off in order for it to fit in my cup holder. Oh, here's my brush. <laughs> it was in here. So I ordered one of the Stanley cups, the 30 ounce. That's what this one is. And I liked it because you could just carry it along and I will use it, but I'm not a big fan. The straw, here's the straw-like component. It's not comfortable. It's a long straw right there. It detaches and that's not hard to keep clean, but I was really disappointed. I just thought I would like it a lot more. So I am a creature of habit, I guess, and I enjoy my cup. I will use this when I go someplace. I'll fill it up because I don't like to buy water. I like to take my water and I don't like to buy the plastic water bottles. When I mentioned my bathtub in one of my recent videos that it, like I brought it to this home, six generations I think right now have bathed in that bathtub. 
a couple of people asked me to share a photo of it and I will. I'll put one in here and I also will link the video. It was taken, I did. I filmed it seven or eight years ago. It's not that good of a video at all, but I do kind of talk more about the pieces in my, where they came from, because a lot of it was family, it were family things and things that meant something to me. It was before I met Jim that I turned a study into a bathtub, all because of my antique cloth bathtub. And the only things I had to purchase for it was a sink and a stool. Everything else came from other areas of the house. And I love, I still love my room, but that's a picture of it. And if you're still here, this is going to be a giveaway. And because it's a giveaway, I cannot reply to questions or comments under this video. Go to any video, I don't care how old it is, and ask me a question and I will get back to you. Lisa J. from BK Beauty had sent me two beautiful boxes of new eyeshadow brushes and face brushes. And I said that I was going to give them away. But first, I wanted to purchase the brushes myself. And I've used a few of them, not a whole lot of them, but, but they're wonderful. To me, they are the perfect brush. Not that any other brush that I own can't do the same thing or close to it. I just love the way they feel. I love these brushes. I love, uh, I have a couple from it and I love Mary Glitzy Fritzy's brush set that she put together for Sigma. Those brushes are excellent. And before I brag on something, I want to spend my own money on it. And I have, on every brush that I own from Lisa's BK Beauty, I've purchased. They've sent them to me. I've given them away. These are the new five face brushes. And these are the new four eye brushes, set of four eye brushes. They're not duplicates. They all do different things. I'll put information below. This one happens to be my absolute favorite. It's a contour brush. I have the one that's bigger for the face and smaller for the eyes and love them. I bet all her brushes, I think, are really good. These are mine. The other boxes that I'm going to send you have not been opened. And they are right here. These have not been opened. So let me think what I want you to do and I want you to say. To enter my giveaway, all you have to be is 18 years old or older. That's it. You don't have to be subscribed. You don't have to like it. You don't have to follow me anywhere. But you do have to use a word in a sentence in the comments below. And I think we'll just use the word brush. You can use that word brush in a sentence. And that will let me know that you're interested in an opportunity to win one of these fabulous brush sets. Oh, and by the way, they are all sold individually now. Yeah, I think that's wonderful that, you know, you don't have to buy the whole set. You can get exactly what you want. I've noticed that with everything that Lisa has done. She comes out with a set, and then the brushes are available on their own. And lipstick and lip liner, so I appreciate that. I've had my hair cut a ton. I've had uh, streaks put in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I go every three months. I already have my appointment for three months from now. And in the meantime, I, a little bit of my silver shows, and, and that's okay. On my last video, on my very favorites of 2022, toward the end of my video, I inserted this clip. It's my son Jeremy's youngest child, who's a senior in high school, and that was his first alley-oop dunk of the season. So I just put that in there, didn't say anything. I just kept talking and just stuck it in there. And then next to it, I put, and in the next clip, I said something like, just say grandson. And I put for a change to win a hundred dollars instead of a chance. Those typing those things in sometimes are kind of hard. And I've got a winner. I loaded all of the comments in random comment picker. I deleted duplicates and I only looked for anything that had the word grandson. And I think there were 67 people, which uh, made me feel very special that that many people stayed long enough to watch, to, to see it. Because that does mean a lot. It helps any YouTuber you like. The longer you watch the video, the, the more their video is suggested. And I want to announce the lucky winner. I started to send you a comment and then I thought, no, I'm not gonna do that because I said I'll never do that. So Linda Martin, congratulations. You are the winner of a $100 e-gift card to wherever I can purchase them 
or a hundred dollar deposit in your PayPal account. My next video should be my 32 weeks using the Omnilux uh, contour mask. I have filmed my skin on exactly the 32nd day. So hopefully that'll be my next video up in a couple of weeks. It is all good. Appreciate you more than you'll ever know. You, you just don't know how much it means when somebody comes and p presses that button and wants to listen to what you have to say. It's very humbling. So thank you again. I will see you in my next video. Take care. And incidentally, so just kind of bear with, I kept getting my, if I haven't changed them, then I couldn't find it. Just happy 20 plus years and uh, my, sh oh, I won't use, you know, used to the, 